has yeah. said you really took a step forward this spring. Do you feel mm -hmm. that way? Yeah, um, you know, coming in the spring, you know, I was looking forward to it, but most importantly, I felt really comfortable going in the spring. You know, we're starting the off season, and then you know, I spring ball progressed, and I worked with Coach Keelmore. Everything kind of, you know, came together, and I think as each practice went on, I got better and better, and even up till today, I think today was a good day. So, yeah, you know, I think um, going into camp, I, I held my head. How much, of, okay. how much of your offense did we really see today? Today, uh, you know, not too much. You know, we ran a couple of plays that, you know, we're comfortable running that we ran a lot, even uh, plays that we ran last year too. So, um, you know, for the plays we did run, I think we executed them pretty well. The offensive line did a good job protecting. Um, and the receivers did a good job catching the ball today. I'm assuming you signed a lot more autographs today than <laughs> a year ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I signed a pretty good autographs. It's always fun, you know, to do that with the fans. Do you know, how much did things change in the quarterback room with, uh, you know, losing a couple guys, uh, one de departing from the team, yeah. uh, and a guy like Zach Allen going down to injury, then it's just you and Troy. Just yeah. how much did things change in the quarterback room? Yeah, this um, from going what eight quarterbacks last year to yeah. you know we have two, three in the quarterback room. And it's a lot. It's a lot different. Um, but you know, with me, Troy, and Zach, we're all close together. You know, we're all good friends, and uh, you know, you don't want to see someone like Zach get hurt like that. It's terrible, and we feel for him. But you know, in the quarterback room is fine right now. You know, we're just you know, it was like a week we didn't have Zach. So, but you know, it was still good. Was Not it? a lot of starting quarterbacks take four quarters worth of reps in the <laughs> spring game. You, yeah. you, you like that? Yeah, yeah. I still want to be out there playing right now. I play all night if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wish. And I'm kind of upset spring ball's over because I, you know, nothing's better than going out there every, you know, every other day playing with your boys. You know, I wish it wasn't over, but we'll get ready for you know camp. So was that strange for you during the spring game? Then being the only scholarship quarterback out there? No, it, it's not at all. You know. We did a really good job the whole spring of um, taking advantage of our reps, the team reps, and just to get more reps today was good for us. And then we'll get to watch film on that and uh, go forward in the camp. Yeah, what kind of relationship do you have with Jonathan Lewis? Like, do you talk to him when he's around? Yeah, or? when he comes around, I talk to him, him and his dad. You know, I say hi to him, hello. And we're looking forward to him coming in here in the summer. Is that kind of, is it strange at all? Or do you have to do that as the older guy? No. You know he's going to yeah. compete with you. Well, I remember him when I was in my position coming in, and I came for a spring practice, and I saw Gary. and. Monty and Lab and all those guys, and I wanted to say hi to them and you know see. So I, I know how it is coming to him, and that's just kind of the way I think about it. So I you know I always be friendly with them and say hi to him because you know he's going to be one of my really close friends coming here in the next two years that I'm here. Were you those guys good to you? Did they take you under your wing? Yeah, absolutely, they did. Absolutely, and, uh, that's something that I didn't take for granted. You know, like I think I've mentioned before, you know, just coming in here and you know learning all that information from you know all the different OCs I had and all the different quarterbacks that I got to be around. So yeah, absolutely. Coach asked that it's going to be an open position in fall. I know it's months away, but just knowing that you've been there before in a quarterback competition plenty of times before, just how do you approach that? Well, the same way I've been doing it my whole career here. You know, I have things I have to work on. I have things I have to get better at, and I'm going to do that over the summer. Watch a lot of film. You know, be around Coach Keel a lot because he knows so much football, and I don't even know one percent of what he knows. So I can get as much football as I can in into the summer, going to camp, and uh, just keep working hard. You mentioned the improvements. What do you feel like you need to work on the most this all season? Um, I guess staying more patient in times. You know, going through my reads. You know, trust for my eyes. And, you know, telling me to throw the ball and stuff like that, and uh, just really um, understanding defenses, I think that will help me a lot. Where did you, he asked you where you need to improve now, from November till now, what, give me an area where you think you got better. Um, I think I've been pretty accurate on the football when um, you know, I hit my receivers. It's so much more comfortable, even watching film from last season till now in the spring practices, I didn't think I was the same person in the, in the, in the, um, in the games last year, even watching the spring practice last year, it really didn't look like me. So just like that, you know, the, being comfortable, I think, is a huge component of it. And knowing what I had to do with certain looks from the defense, so that's helped me out a lot. And like I said before, I still have to learn more about it, but that's helped me out. For sure. Why is Coach Kill so popular with this, with this team? I mean, obviously last year we talked a lot about, oh, you have a 28-year-old offensive coordinator who's like your age, right. basically. Now you have a 65-year-old offensive I coordinator. I think playing for Coach Kill is, you know, the best thing that's ever happened. He's a great guy. You want to play hard for him. You know, he's a really great coach. He loved being around him. Um, is it because of his knowledge? Or? Yeah, knowledge, you know, everything that he's been through in his life. You know, it's just, it's just awesome that we can play for someone like him, being in a quarterback room with him and learning from him. Just, you know, you know, kind of similar to playing with Ralph Region. You know, it's the same thing. You know, you're playing for someone that's a legend in college football. It's, it's awesome. So, you know, you take the opportunity and just get to know him better. It's really cool. 
and I'm, I'm really hoping to take advantage of it. And, and you, you mentioned everything he's gone through in his life. Does that inspire you guys? Oh, bit? absolutely. It inspires me 100%. Yeah. And, um, I know how big he is in the college football world and just how respected he is as a coach. And for us to be being able to play for him is really awesome. And I think that gives you a little more motivation when you step on the field and you can't take you know a play run for granted. And uh, you never know when your last play can be or wherever it may be, even not just football, but in life in general. So I think that actually you know, really goes off on us. Going back to the spring game, I mean, you found Damon Mitchell a lot of times on like five, yeah. five catches, 73 yards, and a touchdown. How do you feel like he's emerged in the, the wide receiver room, especially with a lot of guys going down there? Yeah, Damon, Damon did a really good job this whole spring. You know, he's fought some injuries too, and whatever he's fought injuries, but they've done a really good job. And, um, yeah, going into the summer, we're going to keep working, we're keep running routes and all that stuff. And, uh, I think they're really good. You know, in the, in the, in the offense, the. The uh, tight ends have were like more involved and stuff like that. How you think? How you think? Uh, you know, Miles and the have done. They've done a really good job. You know, for Miles coming over from defense last year to playing tight end now, he's really he's really done a good job and you know, exceeded some expectations. I think he is finally feeling comfortable. I think maybe his first couple of years, I know how it is. You know, being a freshman and stuff, Warren is comfortable. He's really been comfortable. He's really been a big key for us this year. Thank you.